with the birds. And we're racing the bus. We're racing the bus. Yep, we just leaving Orleans. Alright, let's try this a second time. Even though the first one was just so rudely cut off because of the battery. I plugged her in. It's plugged in. No worries now. So, we're just uh, coming into Ottawa. Left Orleans. We're coming up to the construction up here. And we got to try to get to that left lane. Okay, we gotta get over. Come on, somebody let me over. Well, there's a nice four wheeler. Doesn't even launch the space. Wow. He leaves all this space and then all of a sudden he speeds up. He was gonna change his mind. I don't think so. That little red flashy light indicating I'm turning left here. I'm a coming over whether you like it or not. Okay, so I know what some of you are saying. Why did I change lanes? Well, you're about to find out. Because actually that right lane comes to an end. Well, they changed it around here again. It used to be the right lane was... You had to exit with this right lane, but they've changed it. But even so, that right lane ends at Saint Laurent up here anyways. So you'd have to get all the way over anyways. So it doesn't really matter, does it? One way or the other, you got to get over. I probably could have stayed in that lane and, you know, cheated and gone all the way up and then forced my way over, but... I'll give Linda shit for not telling me the construction was over here. I could have gained a whole half a dozen or a dozen spots. Well, maybe a little bit more than that, but... Not that it matters. We still need to get over one way or the other. Anyways, now we're going to get into the bumper to bumper of the bumper cars. But the nice part about living in the East End here is this will be it. It'll be this for the next two exits, three exits tops. And we'll be done. It's not like coming from the West End where they have like miles and miles and miles and miles of backup. We only have a little bit. Don't know why. Maybe the east end drivers are better than the west end drivers. Yeah, that's it. Anyways, we're on our way to Kitchener. Well, at least as far as I know, unless they change that. With our empty abandoned trailer that we picked up from last week. Alrighty, we're in Kitchener. Yes, sir, Bob, we made it here. We're alive, and we've made it to where we need to be. We had a reload, but they took it away from me because there's no way in hell I was going to do it. I don't know what the hell they were thinking. 875 miles in 24 hours? Yeah, not going to make it. If I had a 75-mile-an-hour truck and didn't have e-logs, then I might be able to do it, but it ain't going to happen. So, and that's, you know, the 325 miles from home to here. And then another 52 miles up to uh, Brampton, and then Brampton to Quebec City, 552 miles or whatever it was. Or 59 miles, I can't remember exactly what it was, but anyway, 550 some odd. So, basically 875 miles. And that's paid miles, that's not book miles. Book miles probably a little bit more than that. So, anyways, it's lunchtime. And I decided I'm going to have dinner for lunch. Why? Because I got leftovers. So we're gonna have some a couple pieces of schnitzel. No, we're not gonna have that whole bag. A couple pieces, and we're gonna have about probably about half this container for lunch. That's what we're and doing. Apparently, Celadon has flipped its lid. <laughs> I say that sarcastically. They've gone and got the whale tail, as I call it, or trailer tail, and they're putting it on some of our trailers. 
It's one of the older trailers, even though it's not that old. It's 248 series, but yeah, I can see those getting damaged. Oh well, what can you do? I've got my trailer, it doesn't have it. And we gotta get going and get to go park. Alrighty, we're out of the yard, finally. And we're heading to just over to, we're gonna go to Milton, park there for tonight. We're picking up a direct delivery come morning. Which means we pick it up in the morning and deliver it tomorrow. Be a live load, live unload. We get to go to our solar farm again. So it's a different one this time. Holy geez, all the city trucks coming in at once. Damn. You can tell it's getting close to shift change. Dang, my windshield's dirty too. Dirty. Holy geez, that right wiper's not doing a good job. What the heck? Not a big exciting day to start it off, but hey, why not, eh? Only 300 and I think 75 miles or whatever. Nice easy day, nice easy way to break it in. Didn't get stuck doing that impossible load. Well, it would have been nice miles wise, but I would have never got it there on time. person that has to park where they're not supposed to. I don't know why those other guys are parked on the street, but there's like lots of room in here, but there's always this one. Right here on the left. Uh, well, you can pick them up, but like, seriously, man. Didn't quite understand that. Do we put between the car carrier? Yep, it looks that way. That works for me. Decided I didn't want to park there. My the guy's got one of the old uh, rig masters. Frickin' thing is louder than shit. I don't know how that company ever stayed in business, man. Like it's like there's no muffler on it or anything. So, oh, and I don't want to park beside the uh, reefer, and I don't want to park over there in the mud to the behind me there. I don't want the sun uh, shining into the cab right now. So, I'm just going to go back over here. There's a couple of spots open. I know what you're saying, why don't I just back up here? Because it ends up getting so narrow in here. Because they end up actually doubling up. For some odd reason, whenever people park uh, staggered, they don't know how to stagger park stagger line ends up being so far off, like right here. This uh, international to the right 
is uh, even with the one to the left. Oh, am I ever crooked? I know you're saying, why are you pulling ahead, Jerry? And I'm going to back up here. I was just too uh, crooked with his, and he's crooked. Uh, everyone's crooked. But what we are going to do is we're going to park our front end proper stagger. Everyone's just totally out of stagger because they just park even with each other in their front ends. It's like people don't know how to park staggered. I swear to God. And we might be a little far back. But, say la vie, because they really should be up almost to that sewer right there in the ground up ahead of us. A little bit further up here, but... Like I said, nobody knows how to park staggered. See, like, I don't know if you can see those trucks there. All their front ends are even with each other. So, instead of being on an angle, they're all, like, flat front. Like, same here. International Freightliner. Their front ends are flat and even with each other. The International should be further ahead. It's called staggered angle parking. But anyway, whatever. I just, I, I rant. 